Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your May Tarot Horoscope. I feel like this is a really interesting energy because there's two big themes here happening. The first one is you need to slow down. I feel like a lot of you, maybe your body needs rest or you're recovering from something. I also feel like there's this overall energy here of like you needing to find more flow in your life in a way that doesn't um, make you so accessible to everyone else. So establishing boundaries is really important. And then the other thing is that like you are understanding, you are now understanding that your values have changed. You're understanding that you you want more for yourself. And I feel like you can see this new chapter. You can see this new version of yourself, this new identity that is still emerging. And there's just like a lag with actually fully embodying that vision of yourself. It's like you see yourself, like you're feeling inspired to do all of these things and to make all of these changes, but you're not fully applying it to like the behaviors, the habits, the routines that will connect you with that like future version of yourself. So don't beat yourself up. We're still in Mercury's retrograde um, post shadow period. And I feel like you know it's coming. You know that that new version of yourself, that new life, it's coming, but there's still a little bit of this like attachment to the old. Now, maybe it's an old version of yourself. Maybe it's an old relationship. I feel like what I'm hearing very specifically is that a lot of you have already achieved a lot of amazing things in your life. Okay. So just like recognize that beautiful. A lot of you are scared of your own potential. A lot of you are holding on to old toxic habits, beliefs, um, cycles, people, projects, things. When you know you don't need these things, when you know you're quote unquote above this kind of behavior, above this kind of relationship, above this kind of dynamic, you're just like, I don't want to continue being in this, but I'm fucking terrified of giving it up and fully committing to this new vision because like I'm hearing a lot of you maybe already feel a little bit separated or isolated like from the world or whatever. And there's a little bit of a fear of like amplifying that isolation, amplifying that loneliness, um, amplifying like well, I'm already weird. If I like let go of all of these old habits, behaviors, people, things, and I really dive into committing to that new, you know, identity, it's like, if I accept that version of myself, then what? Well, bitch, like literally nine of coins. Oh my God. King of coins, ace of cups, three, oh, I love this, three of cups, and the justice card, it's like, what do you mean? Then you find better balance, you find better connections, better community, you feel really good about yourself, confident, sexy, you're attractive, like to other people, they're gonna really notice like, wow, like, oh my God, you are shining. Like, what did you do? What are you drinking? Like, can I get some of that? It's like, you're you're really gonna be noticeable to other people. And I'm sure you already are, but it's like, I also feel like a lot of new offerings, Ace of Cups, King of Coins, like people are gonna wanna show up and fully commit, fully give you resources, money. Um, they're gonna like your ideas. They're gonna like your creativity. They're gonna like your expression. They're gonna like who you are and you will like who you are, but there's this fear of like being seen. There's this fear of being heard. And maybe that's from, cause I have this 10 of cups reverse with this two of swords reverse. So I feel like maybe in your childhood, when you spoke up, teachers, parents, whoever told you like, shut up, shut up. Like, don't speak up. Like you need to like follow the crowd. And you're like, I don't wanna follow the crowd. I wanna like do my own thing. Like I'm different, I'm unique. I feel like I don't really like match this world around me. I wanna do something different. And it's like, you were always like punished for that. Punished, punished, punished. So there's like this internal idea or maybe in like a past 
life you were you know a witch and you were like literally like tied up and like burnt at the stake and it's just like oh my god so like there's this overall fear of a fear of being seen being heard expressing yourself fully or maybe growing up your needs weren't they weren't met maybe your parents they didn't have the capacity to fully emotionally um deal with you or um, they didn't have the resources to properly support you or they were like just dealing with their own bullshit, their own trauma and they didn't have the proper knowledge to, you know, support you and accommodate you or whatever. So you grew up thinking like, okay, my needs don't matter. Like, um, I'm not important. I'm not a value. Like my opinion, you know, doesn't matter or I don't want to say something because like my parents are already like dealing with a lot and if I add something I'm probably gonna get lashed out on or whatever so it's like there's a lot of these old fears ideas listen I have it I understand it but at some point we need to move forward and this like eight of wands reverse with this eight of swords upright is like you continue to hold yourself back because you're scared of getting to the next level. I feel like a lot of you, and I also have this, is like, if this is what I can build when I'm a fucking lunatic, if this is what I can build, like I literally personally, me, I look at my business, I look at my like platform, I look at my, like everything. Like I have two amazing companies, I have full staff, like I have everything. And I'm just thinking, oh my God, if this is what I can build when I'm in survival mode, if this is what I can build when I'm being a fucking like idiot, like what does my life look like when I really fully align my energy, when I take myself seriously, when I really fully value myself and I express enough self-love that I have really strong, healthy boundaries that I'm not accessible to everyone all the time that I don't let people take advantage of me or whatever it's like what happens when I take myself seriously my morning practice my behaviors my my diet like what happens <sighs> bitch I'm gonna just boom I'm gonna go even bigger and it's like part of me is terrified of that next level of quote-unquote success or whatever you want to call it and that's because my nervous system is not fully regulated. My nervous system still is operating in this idea of, well, what if everything falls apart? What if I'm tied up and burnt alive or whatever, you know? So it's like, there's this inner work that's needing to take place. And I feel like this is an overall energy for you, Cancer. It's like, you can see the future. Like you've got the chariot card here and you know, with the devil card here reverse, how to get there. You have the chariot. This is success, future movement. This is expansion. And you know that you will get there when you start to detach from these old toxic beliefs, cycles, habits. But instead, the other card that's here, we keep ourselves in the space of lack. The five of coins. We keep ourselves stuck in a space of lack. And maybe you're like, well, I have money, I'm not lacking, or I have this or that. But like, okay, so do I. What I don't have right now is like tons of fun, like inner child, like joy, expression, creativity. So it's like, I have all of these things, but I don't have these other things. And it's like, if I could actually find time, not even find time, you don't find time. If I made time, if I prioritized myself and my schedule and my health to make sure that I have more time and more balance with the creative stuff, you know, a good health um, routine, like I was eating properly, like whatever, then my entire life would balance out better. And then what happens? I'm healthier. What happens? My energy becomes stronger and then we expand into this next level. But of course there's a fear there. So what do we do? We continue to play small or to self-sabotage or to not have strong enough boundaries, blah, 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 blah. So you're understanding what I'm saying. 
My point is, I feel like with this Judgment card here, and this Ace of Swords, oh my God, and this Nine of Cups, it's like, we get it. We get it. Do this. Bing, got it. Bing, okay, it's like, we get it. We need a reset. We need to start again. We need to allow Nine of Cups joy and expression to lead us to this next dimension. And with this Ace of Swords here, we need to understand that it's time for us to communicate our needs, Queen of Cups here, Hierophant, and to commit to, we need to commit to the structures and the routines that will make us feel good. Now, what's really important is that we have an opportunity, especially with this Hierophant, this is connected to commitments to behaviors and routines that will help us establish a new foundation. This is also connected to Taurus energy. We just had a Taurus new moon. This new moon was very lucky. It's also a moon that is helping us break down and let go of all old structures and limitations because Uranus and Jupiter were conjunct in Taurus also, which means that like old limits, old foundations are crumbling down, okay? And with this new moon, I just saw 11, 11 on the clock. With this new moon, we have an opportunity to plant seeds. The moon loves to be in Taurus. So whatever seeds you're planting now will be really well received, okay? So go and watch the new moon workshop. You can pay whatever you want. It's 19 minutes, literally pay $1, I don't care, but go and watch it because we need to use this energy to really call in all these opportunities for expansion that are coming. And trust me, you have a lot of them. I have an Ace of Coins, an Ace of Cups, an Ace of Swords. It's like new, new, new. And we also have a Two of Cups, which can be new relationships. Like there's new people showing up. Like this is an amazing energy, but you need to work with it. So go and watch the New Moon in Taurus workshop. You can find it on my website. I'll tag it here below. I'll see you very soon, Cancer. You've got this. Take care of yourself, okay? Love you.